Oh, Lady and the Frogs. Right, we do have a frog here. We do have Ziggy. Um, I, just, uh, I don't know what angle to put this thing at because, like, if I go like there, <laughs> you can see that, you know, I've obviously, like, had problems getting the drawer back in. I needed to do something the other day. Um, I needed to do something. Um, I've got my... One of my many devices, which I love, <laughs> it, it is broken, so I needed to clean it out. And in the process of doing that, couldn't get the drawer back in, which is nice. And then the rest of it, <laughs> we've got washing, <laughs> we've got a computer on. I was going to show you my sold items, and I seem to have left them over there. Right, so this week, it is now Wednesday. And I should have done more than I have done this week. And I'm annoyed with myself because I've got a week off work to, you know, get myself right with the world. <laughs> and it's not happened. And it's actually quarter to ten on a Wednesday. How is it, how is it quarter to ten? Just grabbing the stuff which I've sold. Right, so I am now quickly packing up the stuff which I've got. And I've got to go and pick up the car. Um, so Monday morning, I have. Oh, excellent! I, I should really like put the camera on what I'm seeing because I'm seeing a robin actually eating um, the too good to go stuff which I picked up on Monday, um, which was absolutely <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Let's get Ziggy back in the camera. Yeah. Um, I've tried to get all my er my errands done on Monday. So the car went in to have some work done. Um, stupidly, I said to them, oh, you don't have to prioritise my job. You don't... Sorry, it's the, it's the robins chirping. It's nice to have a robin on your balcony. I said, oh, if, if something else comes in that's more of a priority, you don't have to work on my car. And of course, now it's Wednesday and I'm going to pick up my car now on Wednesday rather than going to pick it up on the Monday well, after I dropped it off. <laughs> because obviously they, they, they had lots of other stuff which was more of a priority. Anyway, hopefully they have got to the bottom of the problem which we've had on this car now for about a year and a half. Um, a terrifying noise whenever we turned it, like a cracking noise. Um, and it turns out that um, this garage has probably done better than the main dealership, which we've been taking it to. And I'm cursing myself, you know, and I've had various other things that needed doing. I've had, a, I've had it serviced. Um, oh, that reminds me, I must get the service book out so that he stamps it. Because this is like one of these places where it's like pay with cash. Pay with cash, we'll do a good job and we won't charge you a, a, a thousand pounds, you know, a thousand pounds. <sighs> so, yeah, I dropped the car off. I've had my hair cut, although it, it's probably not a great haircut because I went to one of those drive-by haircutting places. Had my eye test done. I've taken this phone in and actually get it work, got it working properly because um, incoming calls weren't coming through properly, um, which then meant that I had to, like, then go back and like change all my settings so that like I was in O2 for about half an hour while they did that um I feel like I've got other jobs I was supposed to, I'm supposed to be doing cleaning jobs and I haven't even started on them I should have done them yesterday because Tuesday I sort of although I listed 15 items because I wanted to clear my pile before I start on the next jobs which I've got um Although I did that, I should have done the cleaning and I should have done the defrosting. But then in the back of my mind, I was just like, the car, I'll have to go and collect the car. And they didn't ring until half past four. And then I, and so I, I said, I'd go today. And now I've got this hankering to pick up the, when I pick up the car to go and to a charity shop, which is over there, which I haven't been to for over a year. And it just feels like I should go. And I feel that you should follow your instincts. <sighs> if the instinct is anything other than Lego, then I'm annoyed. Um, I've just realised that this thing that I've got here, it's actually a sticker on here. <laughs> so I have got a diary. This is an academic diary. So it started in August. 
of this year and then so it's will finish in December 2024 so I need to write down my goals on here so I'm going to do that when I get back and have a coffee and the rest of it after I've picked the car up um and I was supposed to be putting on there how many I listed yesterday but I know I listed more than that so it's already untrue I need to work out how many I need to list per day um but I've got so much going on in my head but I think the thing is is that maybe putting it down in paper isn't something that I need to do at the moment because I know what I need to do at the moment I have two boxes in there I have a big box of bric-a-brac which obviously needs to get sorted and listed and put on and a big box of clothes um which is not stuff which I've sourced it's stuff which I've got gifted and I know that, that was back in June um so I know that all of that needs to be done as a priority before I even start thinking about anything else. And then I've got Lego job lots, which I want to start sorting. And I really want to move back into this Lego, but I need to do all this other stuff, which I haven't done before I move back into this Lego. And this feels like something that should have, I should have started at the beginning of September, but I haven't. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, so the diary that I've got, it's one of this Carpe Diem. It's the same as the calendar which I've got. I, I don't know if this sticker has actually got the U underneath it, but I probably won't take that off. So, yeah, I've, I've paid £15 for this, which is ridiculous. But I also didn't want to go trawling around looking at diaries when I know that this is a really good diary because I've got the calendar and I saw that it was an 18-month diary. So I thought, well, that's great. I've got the stickers. Not that I've used any of the stickers for my other one, you know. But yeah, I I like this. It's okay. It's um I go in fits and starts of using my diary. Um but this this will be okay. I want one that's like that because I put it on the side when I'm doing um when I'm doing my listing because I just like to do what did I do yesterday so I like to know how many buy it nows I've got that I've got going live and how many auctions I've got at the moment I seem to have like about at least 10 to 15 auctions ending every day the part of me was thinking of downgrading my store but I'm a bit reluctant to do that because I know that the featured store puts you in front of more overseas buyers than the bot the bottom range tour the bottom range tier and I think I would because I'm at the moment I've got around 400 listings at, at, at most I don't think I'd be able to keep on top of having around a, a store of around 400 although I don't particularly want to have like that much stuff it's just it's the clothing and it because of obviously where I work it's hard to say no to things anyway I need to go and get this flipping car so that I can just start the day I know that I'm not going to get anything done until this afternoon now anyway so it doesn't even matter I have got one I've got a jumper which I packaged up yesterday because um I thought I'd be shooting out to get the car, but I just, I didn't want to end up being robo legs up the road because it's a 45 minute walk. And I just didn't want to end up like putting myself in that situation where I'm like, oh, 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 post office is going to close, garage is going to close. And then driving in rush hour. Oh, no, no, no. Right, so I've got a jumper which is already done. I have got Paul Smith jeans which sold last night. They have sold for 25. Yeah, 25. This has gone on auctions. No, it hasn't gone on auction. It was on auction. Somebody sent me an offer of £7 um, and I took it. Um, it's Joe Brown's. It's one of these things. This is one of these things which uh, has been sort of like kicking around um, and I keep washing it, trying to wash the mark out of it, um, which never washes out. I've got a number of those things. Um, see, that's another thing which I need to end up dealing with is the things which need sewing and need marks washing out of them. Um, so all of these things just need to be dealt with you know or got rid of I can't even see this mark on here now I don't even think it's as bad as I think it is but anyway um there it is 
there's like a line mark across there. It's a bit like what I've done this morning because I've done the washing up this morning. Um, and in the process of doing the washing up, I've now got a wet belly because I always just seem to end up just, instead of doing the washing up, throw it all over me. I know that the, re the rest of the world has dishwashers. I don't have a dishwasher because we live here. <laughs> uh, and then I have this, so yeah, so seven pounds I accepted for that based on the fact that it's got that mark. I just want it gone. And then this, which has been going round and round on auction, but obviously it is wool. It's got Angora in it. It's white stuff. It's gone for $9.99. It's gone. I couldn't give a... F My feelings about a lot of this clothing stuff, which I've got here, I just feel like, please leave. And I think that's why I am just want to work through what I've got and just get rid I need to see if this goes in one of these. I didn't know if it would fit. It does fit. Okay. So that's the other thing you see as well about having this middle tier um, featured shop is you do get the packaging voucher. The packaging voucher, which I can then spend on and then Hermes will come and put it somewhere in the road around here, any, anywhere on Drayton Street. I've got to find it. It's like some kind of scavenger hunt with um, Hermes. So, I thank my lucky stars that I now work next to a Sainsbury's with an Argos in it and I can have my click and collect sent there. Because the Hermes situation, oh, for God's sake, the Hermes situation has just got so ridiculous here. I honestly, I, at one point I thought, oh, the intercom must be broken. But it's not because I the um, the last Lego job lot, which I got delivered, um, must have been like a week and a half ago. Um, the intercom rang and it was Royal Mail, you know, because they're able to fathom how to ring a doorbell. It's not behind the locked gates either. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I just don't know. So that's the only problem I've got. If I start getting back into Lego again, I've got to get back into dealing with Hermes and, you know, doing the shimmy with them. Anyway, right, I'm going to go get this car and then I'm going to come back to you and tell you how life has gone and tell you that I went out of my way and drove to this other charity shop and all they had was egg cups. Right, let's get on with this. Back. I shouldn't move the audio lead. No. Right, I'm going to have to reset it now because I've touched the audio lead. It's probably gone off. Okay. Can you tell that my husband works in construction? You've also got his boxer shorts on there. So it's moved that round slightly, but you will get the washing in the background. Right. It's just gone. It's just gone midday. I've picked the car up. Obviously, I've dropped my post off. God, it's dingy. Um, it started raining because I've now decided to do something else. I haven't been to the charity shop um, just because I've decided that if I get on with what I with what I need to do, I will reward myself with the charity shop at the end of the week. Um, and because I couldn't be asked to navigate my way up there. Um, so I've got a list of things here, which for some reason... B&M Bargains no longer stock. So I, I think B&M Bargains, they have some kind of aspiration now to be like Wilkinson because honestly, what on earth? So they don't, use, they don't stock all the stuff which I only ever used to be able to get there now. I mean, I'm going to have to go to Home Bargains. That's one of the other reasons why I'm just thinking I'll probably go and do that later in the week. Um... And, and go there they didn't even have brillo pads i just got I, my my head is just this the things that i wanted i actually found in poundland and i didn't go so i went poundland is on the way because it's over in the it's next to the hospital and there's like a poundland and i went in there to see if they've got like sometimes they have branded makeup for cheap obviously they didn't because i went in there wanting it um 
so but anyway i've got a roll of bubble wrap because that's always useful i am trying to get back into the lego so obviously that's it and then three rolls for three pounds um which probably doesn't sound cheap and it, you know it's it's never very thick but you know that will do for the time being and then randomly <laughs> i've got two chilies <laughs> so this is from uh, one of the Jamaican uh, shops around here. I just, I just love a corn on the cob with the actual how it comes. <laughs> I wish I tried to grow the odds on the balcony, but everything has been a tragedy this year growing on the balcony. Um, the tomatoes, although they're ripening, they're really tough now. So, B and M, the stuff which I've ended up getting from B and M. Um, it's because obviously I've picked the car up and now I'm going to wash it. That's why it started now, go it's gone really overcast and started raining to the point that when I was driving back, the windscreen wipers were activating. It also took a long time to drive back. I mean, it, it felt like longer than walking some because of the amount of people who just seemed to like go to sleep um, at the lights. And ironically, bloody, um, that song... <laughs> That song from Fifty Shades of Grey uh, was on. And I was going, what are you waiting for? I just don't understand. We went through three phases of the lights before anybody was actually realised how to actually function and turn right. Anyway, the car is lovely. The car, it feels like the drive feels firm. The drive shaft has been replaced. So this... The drive shaft has basically been rotten for a year and a half and for some reason um, the, well they're called EH and they're the, they're the only garage next to Man United. <laughs> um, couldn't work out that. Um, it went in three times for this and it turns out that the drive shaft was rotten away and it needed replacing. Uh, so now I've got, I've got a new tyre because that was deflated on that side. And now I am going to wash the car um, because I have, well, between me and my husband, the near side of the car just seems to keep getting scraped. Now, I have had two bangs with the, <laughs> the post in the car park. So I've got a bit of like paint transfer on it. So I'm going to sort that out. I have got this. I've, I have spent a lot of money on this. I have no idea what Canuba wax can't, well, I do know what Canuba wax is, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to pronounce that. So I've bought this. This is tropical wash and shampoo because you need the smell of the tropics on the outside of your car. And this cost £8.50. Um, I mean, obviously, that's going to do a fair amount. But then I've spent £5 on this. We spent £5 on cloths um, because I've got some tea cut uh, tea cut scratch remover so it's going to take off trans paint transfer from other cars and I mean I have got a bit of that from when I take the car in and I park it and I leave it while I'm at work um, and people just decide to scratch your car and um, the tea cut costs 7 99 so uh, between the canuba <laughs> the canuba wash um, it's okay it's got three times more canuba uh, so I've got that. Um, so I'm going to buff that out, which is why I've got that, because it says that you need a damp cloth and then you need a buffing cloth. And these are like apparently polishing cloths, multi-purpose and the rest of it. I have a bumper. These are jumbo sponges. I mean, if this is a jumbo sponge, then, you know, my world is getting smaller because jumbo sponges used to be a lot bigger than that. So apparently this is three jumbo sponges, £1.50 from B&M. And what else have I got? This is my reward for when I'm done. I'm going to have a crab paste sandwich. This is nice. Um, but obviously um, I ended up going to the Jamaican shop and getting some bits from there. And then washing machine cleaner. Um, this wasn't on the list, but this was one of the things I need. So I wanted to get one of the big things of washing up liquid because it's, I like to put it in a refill and it's cheaper. Apparently they don't sell that anymore. I wanted the 
elbow grease oven cleaner set they've only got oven pride i don't want that one it doesn't work that well i wanted the other one i wanted brillo pads they don't have them they've only got scrub daddy and i've got a, you know scrub daddy and scrub money mommy i they're not brillo pads I wanted elbow squeeze spray. They didn't have that. What the hell is going on? They only had this like other multi-purpose thing. And then I wanted a pack of sponges because usually you can get a really decent pack of spon sponges for about a quid. And they had like half the size of that for £1.50. So I'm not paying that. So everything that was on my list, I wasn't able to get from, from B&M. So uh, it won't be long until you join the, um, the club where you um join wilkinson because i that's the second time that i've been to b and m and haven't been able to fulfill what i wanted on my list i should have bought the i should have bought the fat balls for the um birds but i i didn't there's a, but i have been to the wilkinson sale so what should i get in the wilkinson sale I did have a receipt round here and I could tell you exactly what I got in the Wilkinson sale because that's one of the other things which I did do. And here we are, Wilkinson. I seem to have a lot of unopened posts lying around. So I've got Vic's First Defence, which I need because I've already, I'm already feeling the sniffles. Um, but then this is, this is the thing is that for some reason you don't get your flu jab on time nowadays. Let's have some coffee because we've made this coffee. These were from BMM Bargains. Or were they from Pound Stretcher? I believe they're actually from Pound Stretcher. Uh, yeah, so I got some hay fever tablets for my husband. Um, so those were £3.50. And it said 70% it said off, but I didn't get anything that was anything more than 30% off. So it wasn't really very good. Apparently I've spent £26. I got some Maybelline foundation because I do need like foundation um, just because I wear it at work. Not that it makes me look any less of a troll. I've got a bleach kit, which was £6.25 and then had one eighty eight off it, so it wasn't even any cheaper than anywhere else, even with the 30% off. So this is why they're going out of business, because they were just very expensive. Um, I've got a radiator area. That was 30% off, so that was initially £8.00. Um, just one of the ones that hangs on the radiator it's in the bathroom you know this is what we do in britain dry our pants for hours on end until they're like into a cardboard shape so that had two pound 40 off it yeah it just wasn't really very good yeah so i didn't get anything i stood there for ages looking at the paint and then pulled myself together because I was just like, no, don't go in here and then like start a painting because I've still got paint sat there from when I said I was going to do painting at this time last year and that didn't happen. Um, but I need I needed some bathroom paint, but then they only had like really like awful colours, which you would then like go, great, so now I've painted my bathroom and I've got to live with this awful colour. And they didn't have any white. Um, and then they did have a very, very big pack of um, fat balls, but obviously I didn't have the car and I felt the weight of it and it would have been like carrying a fridge freezer home. So I obviously didn't come back with that. Right, so I am now going to clean the car. I'm going to drink this coffee, regroup, and then I'm going to clean the car um, before I have my sandwich. So this has to take place before I have my sandwich. And this is what I do to myself now is that I make myself do something because if I eat something then I just go oh I've eaten something I don't want to get indigestion so I'm going to sort this thing out and take this paint transfer off the car um because I'd like to do it before my husband gets home so that I just go yeah I didn't really like driving to the post that much um I just, I just grazed it look it's fine yeah I don't want him to see just how much brown paint there is on the car i mean i think he must know <laughs> because because it took a chunk of the post off but this this is this is what drives me up the fucking wall about the management company is that one day they decided to paint all of the because we have this sort of like pagoda thing all the way around all the car car thing on the carport 
and they just they painted it all brown so now if, if when you when you pull up especially if it's like overcast or if it's at night time you can't see any of the posts and you end up like knocking your wing mirrors into them well i do <laughs> just it's the only thing i've driven into so it seems to me like i'm fine at driving but it's like for glassing around parking sometimes and there's also a salt bin you see which is in the way um and the, the thing is when they came and painted it it annoyed me because we've got flecks of this plaint which is on our alloy alloy wheels um because because they sent tweedledum and tweedledee to do the painting anyway right i'm going to crack on with this it's now really going to start hammering it down but i don't care at least it'll do a bit of rinsing for me i suppose <laughs> needs to be done and I need to crack on. So while I'm ashamed of my crimes, this is my car. We're cleaning it. <laughs> this, is, this is what I've done. <laughs> uh, you can see it there. So it's just the transfer of that post wood. So you can see it there, but it was, this stuff is amazing. <laughs> I didn't film it because I just, I didn't believe that it would work. And you can see the extent of that there. Right, so I need to put some more on there. But you can see how bad that is. Okay. Right, I'm gonna put this down because it's impeding my skills. Right, I've taken it off so you can see how gross it is pretty bad huh so this is what we're using I just didn't think that this would work so I've got like a shit ton on here so this is a wet cloth just to apply it Right, and now I'm going to buff it off. Um, not on camera because I need to give it some welly, but I was really surprised that this actually works. I thought I was going to have to confess. And ta-da. I know you can still see it. You can still see it. And I've all got a little bit here. I'm going to try one last time to do these last little bits here. But this was all over the wheel. It's got the hold on. This is where the dickheads painted it, so this won't come off because this is on the alloy. I didn't do this. <laughs> um, yeah, very impressed. I feel like tea cutting the whole car now, but it's raining. And I can see myself. <gasps> yeah, I should definitely polish my own car now. Okay, so you can see it. I mean, look at that. It's a mirror. Hi. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I know that we've got a a doink here and you can see it but it doesn't it's not like what it was <laughs> well if you stand back it looks it looks all right <laughs> and that's the said post <laughs> unfortunately the post looks like this <laughs> okay so my mission with the car is over I know it doesn't look like superb because, yeah, there's there's lots of issues with the bodywork, uh, but I'm I'm happy that it doesn't look like it did. <laughs> uh, I've had my sandwich. I've ended up doing loads more like washing up and fiddling around with other things. So right, it's so late in the day. I think it's like it's at least three. I don't know. Can, will, will this tell me? It's half past three. <laughs> right. So this is my quest. And this these are the two things which I need to get listed. So I have got this here, which is all clothing. Um, and I've put those bags on top there. Because they all came with this. So I think I'm going to go through this because I know that some of it's got stains on it. So I need to sort through it. Uh, this is all stuff which a relative gave me. 
when we went up to go to the funeral because obviously they were cleaning out the house <laughs> so it's it's mainly clothing there was some bric-a-brac i went through it all half of it went to the charity shop where i work and these are the bits which i've kept back thinking that i can put them on my ebay account as auction i don't i may well end up donating some more of it i don't know but i'm just i think i can't even remember what's in here because i just i literally just went through the two bags and just made quick decisions so this is all the stuff which i think that i can do and then for some reason this box which i've got here so this box here i thought was all like bric-a-brac and interesting things but it's mainly books and I don't know what, what has possessed me. I've just been in the other room cleaning some of the other books. You see, these drive me up the wall. So these are our stickers at the place where we work at. For the most part, they peel off great first time. And then it's got a sticker from some other charity shop. And this one will end up leaving residue. So I've just been scrubbing it. So my hands now have gone all wrinkly because I've been cleaning some books which looks like they've been in a shed. See, that's ripped. So this is going to be more aggravating than I think. Uh, I don't even know what's in here. There should be some good stuff in there. But I didn't realise just how many books there were. I thought that I thought that it was lots of stuff which was appropriate to list for Christmas. Uh, but I don't think it is. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is iron and look for stains on these. And I'm going to process these first, I think. I'll get them ready so I can photograph them tomorrow morning. Get up with the wind get up with the wind <laughs> i think there's a storm coming and then obviously i've got some bits here and i mean there is there, there's, there's decent stuff here this is stuff which i've sourced um yeah this is stuff which i've sourced these are jeffrey west there's two of them <laughs> there's some other little bits in there i really don't know what's going on with that uh, but it's heavy and it's annoying um yeah I need to do these two boxes and then I can work on Lego because that's the focus that I want to add. This is what I need to do and this is why this has like annoyed me. I'm annoyed with myself for sourcing so many books. Why have I done this? Books are a pain in the bottom. I don't even know how much... You see, the thing is, is the value in them is probably not even here nor there. Mm. <laughs> the Terry Pratchett stuff, a lot of it I probably want to keep for myself. Anyway, I'm going to do a haul video of both of these. So I'm going to do a haul video of that and I'm going to do a haul video of that. So I'm going to shoot the haul video for this one now uh, before I process it. So that will be another video which will probably come out before this. Um, yeah, that's my quest. That's my mission. Right, it is now Friday and it is actually, it's two o'clock on Friday. I've done a fair bit this morning. I stopped, well, I didn't stop filming. I did film something yesterday, but um, between the technology on this phone not connecting with the microphone and me having PMT and me discovering that my laptop had overridden my instructions to not do any automatic updates and had done a whole shit ton of uh, automatic updates but uh, but well not a shit ton it had done some automatic updates and completely fucked my computer up so that just gave me the screaming ab dabs yesterday so instead of doing what i was wanted to do i ended up having to try and like get my computer working so i've just had to let all of the updates which it needed happen i've had to do three restarts I'm trying to not have to go to this Windows 11 nonsense. But it's been very frustrating. 
do actually have an old tower that was going to go in the bin at work so I'm hoping that that isn't password protected and that I can get that working and that I can just use Windows 7 going forward and that this computer is going to be great so the problem that I have now and the reason that I've wasted time yesterday is obviously I, I now don't have any editing software for these videos again and I know that somebody's like suggested um, some software, but I also need ones where I can like trim it. Anyway, I've downloaded now about eight different bloody different things and they've either got watermarks on it they won't let me save as mp4 or they're just like completely mind blowing like one yesterday i thought was going to be okay but when i put the clips on it overlaps the clips and i know that that's like a thing that you can overlap clips but i couldn't like work out how to put one clip at the end of the other clip it was just completely mind-blowing and that was supposed to be basic software so I've got some software on there now which is fine um seems great seems like it's got most of what the old one has got um however it'll only let me do free videos for free and then it's going to charge me like some ridiculous thing and the trouble with having a modern computer is that once you pay for something once it makes you pay for it constantly every year and i don't want that either um the clip champ which is what is installed on my computer now so it works better now that it's installed on my computer however this was my frustration yesterday is that when i put the clips on there um they were in sort of like negative so my hair was purple and everything was just everything was just like a different hue on it and they do have like online you know chat assistant which was supposedly some person called nate and he was absolutely useless because i told him what was going wrong and then of course he like told me that i need to go on to the um color balance thing but it's not the color balance because it's what the program's doing because the program doesn't work so instead of letting me report this problem which they can sort out he just ended the chat so he was a complete tosser and this is the trouble with the software that's on there i just why change something this is this is what i don't understand why do we have to change stuff that works so this s23 doesn't work like i said i had to spend an hour this week in the o2 shop getting them to get my phone to actually accept phone calls this doesn't really work with this if i move in any slight way it disconnects i do have another mic in here so i use this mic but the the connection is so dodgy and it must be something that Samsung are doing now so that I have to go out and buy a new one because my tablet is broken this week and won't charge. Just pointless. Completely pointless. I, yeah, it's just, I just, it's just frustrating. So anyway, I am going to try and put this video on. I have ignored... I've largely ignored the computer. Anyway, I have done all my photographs of all my clothing. I have done some sewing. So this is my sewing jobs here. Um, I haven't done everything. I just couldn't be bothered. But I have done a silk dress and a coat. I photographed all the other clothing. I promise you it's not here because it would be piled up on here. And this is empty. And now I want to work on the bric-a-brac and I'm probably just going to do, I'm going to do a haul of the bric-a-brac because I can just film that in one go and I don't need to edit that. I just need to upload it. Um, so I'm just going to have to try and do my videos in one fell swoop, which means less vlogs. Less vlogs because uninterrupted, if I just re sit here, talk to you guys, do a, do a video that I can then just upload without having to like put it all together. 
that's the way it's going to work now because you know <sighs> and the thing is with this microsoft update is it's not even like they want me to pay for it they've just found a really terrible version of, of an old program that worked really well i just don't understand why have something that works really well <laughs> it's not even like they had like an an old this old program they just said oh, if you want to carry on using this now you've got to play <laughs> you've got to pay a subscription fee it's not even like they did that they just got rid of it and replaced it with something that doesn't work uh, this is the I'll try and splice this in if I can. I don't know if I can because I'm not even sure if this one that I've got on there lets me splice. But this is, is what it was doing. So this is the new software. Uh, so apparently I now have purple hair. I mean, you probably want me to differentiate this. So if I use this editing software that they want me to use, which I can't, and I can't find any that will let me upload for free um, this video is actually supposed to look like this hello and welcome back to Lady but on this one I'm purple I look like fucking violet now, fucking Beauregard on this one account. so this this is the editing software that I've got I have no idea how it I had a dream last night that this happened and I have no idea why it has let this happen because I paused my updates. It says on here that I'm paused for updates until the 10th. But this is where my old software should be and it's gone. And I have no idea how it's do doing it. So um, and why I was screaming. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to tie this up. Um, this is where I am with everything. I have clothing there, all photographed, all ready. And then I've got all this, which I'm going to do a whole video of. Um, there'll probably be some repetition, but that's what I'm going to work on today because when it comes to bric-a-brac and things like that, you can just do one thing and then I can just sit and put it on the computer. So... I'm just going to work through that. And as you can see, it's sunny. So we've got decent light in here. I rushed through the last of my photos this morning before the shadows and the rest of it and all this turned up. <sighs> it's, I'm just annoyed because this week should have been really productive and it's not been that way at all. And I don't know what's wrong with me. I just feel like I'm a, a bit of a failure with everything. I don't... And I know that I've had to like deal with the car and I know that I've been out. Um, I did pick up some bits yesterday. It'll be in that haul. Um, the, one of the main things I did get is I actually got this. So my feeling that I should have gone out was absolutely bang on. So this is for me because I have to go to a wedding in December. So this is actually a dress that's in, well, it, I say it's in my size, it's in size 16 and I'm technically a 14, but it's fine, it'll do. I've got this dress in my shop in a size 10. Um, I was looking at my photos and they're terrible actually because I've tried this on and it actually cinches quite well to the waist, but my photos on my thing make it look like it doesn't cinch in. So this is a um, monsoon, vintage monsoon. This is called the Carmel dress. It's all hitched at the bottom and this does look really good on me and I'm glad that the Ted Baker one didn't fit now because finding that in my size is a real bonus. I paid £6 for that, which is unheard. <laughs> With me at a charity shop, it's pissed for me. It does have a little floor on the bag, but never mind. So I got that from Bernard. I've got some other bits. And that'll be in my next haul video, which will probably come out before this because it'll probably be a lot simpler for me to upload that. That was another thing yesterday. The video that I put on yesterday, when I first started uploading it, and this was after I'd done the install of the, of, of the things that I'd missed and done another restart. So it was two restarts in and it said I went to upload the video 
and it said an hour and a half then it said two hours then it said two and a half hours and I was like why is the upload time for this video going up and up and up so I have no idea what went on there so then I did another check for updates wait for updates and you know restart and then it did put that video on so I spent most of the day yesterday as well trying to put that whole video on you know I, was, I can't even blame myself because I've been doing this for three years and I've never had problems and it's only now that I've had problems doing this like uh, if it carries on YouTube is just going to be a disaster zone if I was earning money on YouTube then I probably wouldn't mind paying a subscription fee but I've done you know I'm not at that stage <laughs> <laughs> anyway right I am gonna crack on I should probably actually have some food because I haven't had any food and it is like gone two o'clock I just want to start this on whatever process this is going to take because I think it's going to take a long time for this video to render because yeah lack of trust anyway goodbye from me yeah it's goodbye from me <laughs> I really hope that I can get this video on. Thank you for watching. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from Siobhan. I'll see you soon.